Good evening, everybody. Good evening, Veronica. Good evening, teacher. Hi, how are you? I am fine, you? I'm pretty good. Thank you so much for asking. How about you, Geraldina? How are you? How are you? I'm pretty good, and you? Yo estoy muy bien, ¿y usted? I fine, and you? I'm great. Hoy me tocó la vacuna, así que si me ven ahí toda, toda desviada, all right? De los ojos ya saben por qué. Segunda la dosis. La segunda dosis. La primera no me, no, no me dio ningún efecto secundario, pero dicen que a veces la segunda sí. No, ya estuviera, ya estuviera ahí sin poder hablar. <risa> Ay, no, no me diga eso. <risa> All right. Va a estar bien. Ok, excelente, very good. Gracias por darme ánimos, Geraldina. <risa> All right, everyone. Welcome back to your English class. It's a pleasure to see you. And welcome back. Let's see, today we're going to continue with section four, all right? Because we haven't finished section four. Vamos como por la sección 4.3, quizás, around, más o menos por esa. Así que hoy vamos a tra tratar de avanzar muchito, muchito, all right? Lo que sea necesario para que ustedes puedan, pues, avanzar durante el fin de semana. Yo sé que pasan trabajando y pues tal vez pueden aprovechar el fin de semana para avanzar en la sección 4, right? So, let's see, girls. Esperemos a ver, tal vez alguien más se, con, se conecta en el resto de la clase. And let's see, estos temas que vamos a ver este día, they are not difficult, but they do are complicated, right? Tal vez no son difíciles, pero sí son algo complicado, si sí tenemos que prestar mucha atención, right? Vamos a entrar al simple, al simple past, un tema tan bonito, pero tenemos que prestarle mucho oído y también practicar mucho, all right? So let's see, did you have fun? Class 10, let's move on. Let me see if I can move on. Top eight things people hate to do, all right? Ayer veíamos esto, así que como un calentamiento, right? Como un recalling previous learning, vamos a ver esto. Let me check. Um, Okay, let's continue, girls. Let's see, we have, Veronica, can you please tell me the vocabulary? Okay. <clears throat> Number one, stand in line. Number two, do laundry. Number three, travel to work. Four, go to the meeting. Five, exercise. Six, work in the yard. Seven, clean the house. And eight, open the mail. That's correct, excellent, thank you. Very good job. Let's see, Geraldina, tell me the vocabulary. Let's check the vocabulary. Your microphone, Geraldina. Tu micrófono. Sí. <laughs> But one, stand in line. Two, do laundry. Three, travel to work. Four, go to meeting. Five, exercise. Six, work in the yard. Seven, clean, clean to house. Uh, eight, open the mail. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you, girl. I'm sorry. Let's see. Let's continue. Very good, Geraldina. Let me go with Sonia del Transito. Okay, Sonia, tell me the vocabulary, please. <clears throat> stand, stand in line. Do laundry. Travel to work, go to me meetings, um, exercise, work in the yard, 
clean the house, open the mail. That's correct. Thank you so much. All right, everybody. Go with me to the next slide and let's check this, all right? Let's see, we have these sentences, right? Some of you already practiced yesterday with these sentences. Muchos de ustedes hicieron ayer sus oraciones, all right? Con cosas, pues, podíamos hacer o que no nos gusta hacer, basically. Y tenemos estos guiding examples. Solo voy a pedir que algunos me colaboren con el reading. Let's see, Jose Vega, can you please read number one? Okay, number one. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, welcome. And number one, I have to stand in light outside the supermarket to buy food. I hate, I hate it. Exactly, I hate it, right? I hate it. Excellent. Let's go with Dinora Hernandez, please. Number two. Okay, solo déjenme voy a borrar esto porque esto no es parte de eso. Okay. Action, Dinora. I don't have to go to meetings because I work online. That's correct. Excellent. Those were the guiding examples that we had for yesterday's class, right? And I told you, hey, practice with this because you will use it on the platform. So let's see. Recuerdo que algunos de ustedes si me dieron sus examples anoche, la clase anterior. So, José, usted me dio sus examples, ¿verdad? Me dio sus ejemplos. Yes. Uh, solo una hice, teacher. Okay. Tell me. Okay. Uh, my sentence is, I have to do laundry on weekend. And I don't like it because it's my break time. Ah, uh -huh. now I remember. Yes. Si sí, recuerdo eso. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Inclusive yo le dije, sí, es cierto, lo comprendemos. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. Excellent, Jose. Very good. What about, let me see, Carla Patricia. Carlita, ¿usted participó ayer en decirme las oraciones? Let's see. If not, Felipe Rios, tell me your sentences. Hello, teacher. Hello, uno está cocinando, ¿verdad, Felipe? No, hoy no. Cociné para dos días. Tell me your sentences. Dígame sus oraciones. Porque yo creo que las escribió en el chat box ayer. Eh, la, la primera, eh, I have to work in the yard behind to my house. I hate it. I don't have to go to do laundry because I lost my time. That's correct, excellent. I lose my time, all right? That's correct, yes. excellent. Thank you, Felipe. Let me go with Mayra. Mayra, usted me leyó sus sentences ayer o no? No. Ok, entonces si las tienes, si gusta, comparta. Pero eran de, como acabo de entrar, ¿verdad? Ay, eh, sí, eran de, sí. Ajá. Era de esto, esto lo trabajamos ayer, solo estoy chequeando porque por el tiempo no todos pudieron pasar y les va a tocar ah, poner eso en, el, en la plataforma. Entonces, para ayudarles. Ah. Sí, cualquiera puedo. Sí. Cualquiera, solo que estos son los ejemplos que yo les puse para que ustedes se fueran como guiando, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. ah, entonces, no es así como, por ejemplo, nos puso, ¿verdad? His parents city march. Mm. Así, ¿verdad? No, esta entonces, es... No es eso. No, eh, oh. esto es utilizando el have. For example... Uh -huh. A ver, le voy a ayudar con una. ¿Cuál de estas elige usted? Pues... Laundry. Do laundry. Excellent. Very good. You can say, I have to do laundry. Right? Mm -hmm. I have to do laundry. Um, on my weekend. Right? En mi fin de semana. I have to do laundry on my weekend. I hate it. Right? Lo odio, no me gusta. 
Uh, I have some. All right. ¿Qué le parece esa, Mayra? Está bien. All right, excellent. Sí, a ustedes les va a tocar ponerlos en... Thank you, Mayra. A ustedes okay. les va a tocar poner debajo del video, creo, su ejemplo. Y creo que eso también es nota, right? Porque todo lo tienen que ir completando. Así que si en dado caso ustedes necesitan ayuda, me pueden avisar, right? Durante el fin de semana. Este, yo sé que no trabajamos durante el fin de semana, pero yo voy a estar alerta por si necesitan ayuda porque no quiero que se atrasen, ¿ok? Y si quiero que este tema quede cubierto completamente, ¿ok? So, let's see. Let's continue, girls. Este era el practice time que tuvimos ayer. Vamos a continuar con un tema nuevo que está perfecto, right? We have simple past statements with regular verbs, right? I didn't study. ¿Qué vamos a hacer para comprender este tema, para ver la pronunciation? Nos vamos a pasar a un video que está en la plataforma, ¿ok? Denme unos segunditos y yo me traslado a la plataforma y se los voy a poner aquí. Ok, give me one second, guys, ok? One second. Or now, now I'm back. Let's see, let's check this one. Did you have fun? Let me see. Vamos a poner este video. Ahí viene la conversation. Déjenme ver si aquí viene la conversation. Prestemos cuidadosa atención a los verbos que se mencionan ahí. ¿Por qué? Por la pronunciación que tenemos que ejercer ahí. ¿Ok? So, let's pay attention. Take it easy. Ahorita no se concentren en copiar nada. Solo prestemos atención al video, a la conversation. Y después vamos a ir analizando cada parte. ¿Ok? Here we go. Positive and negative statements in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I didn't study. Let's listen and practice. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry, and shopped. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh, no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. Let's get started by practicing these statements in the past. Simple past statements. Regular verbs. I studied on Sunday. I didn't study on Saturday. You watched television. You didn't watch a movie. She stayed home. She didn't stay out. We shopped for groceries. We didn't shop for clothes. They exercised on Saturday. Okay, we're going to stop in here and I'll be back with the PPT for you to practice with the conversation. What are we going to do? I know that it might be a little bit difficult for you trying to recognize the use of simple past in these verbs, not because it's difficult, but also because of the pronunciation, all right? So here we go. Voy a hacer yo la conversation. Prestemos atención y luego los voy a poner a ustedes. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry and shopped. Shopped. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the rest, for the test all day. I studied, ojo con esta, studied for the test all day. Oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't study. 
I just watched television all weekend. Okay, escuchemos esta de nuevo. Watched. Watched. Studied. Watched. Okay, no se preocupen si la primera no nos sale, all right? Eh, vamos a tener otra práctica más adelante. Pero comencemos a empujarnos con este contenido desde ya, desde la conversation. Okay, so let me have... I will have Elizabeth Campos. You are Michael and Veronica Esmeralda. You are Jennifer. Action. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning, then my roommate and I cleaned the laundry and showed, and then I visited my parents. So, what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watch it, television, all weekend. All right, excellent. Bravo, girls. Very good job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> This conversation is funny. Ya nos imaginamos cómo va a terminar esto, right? No estudió para su examen, así que not going to be positive. No va a ser positivo. So let me go with Sonia del Tránsito. You are Michael and Geraldina. You are Jennifer. Action. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a basic weekend and I feel it a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning, turned my roommate in, and I cleaned it. Did Laundry and chapter and ten I this beside my parents. So what did you do on on Sunday? I studied for the test all, all day. Oh no. Do we have a, a test today? I didn't study, I just watched. Quest television all weekend. All right, excellent. Thank you, Sonia and Geraldina. Bravo. All right. Let me go with Felipe Rios. You are Michael and Dinora Hernandez. You are Jennifer. Action. Okay. Hi, Jennifer. Do you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I started in the morning, then my roommate and cleaner, the laundry and shopping, and then I visit my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't study, I just watched it. Television or weekend. Excellent, there you go. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Dinora, very good. All right, let me go with the next one. Como les digo, ahorita es como un warming up esta conversation para nosotros, all right? Es como un calentamiento, porque en sí no hemos visto cómo se pronuncia cada una de esas palabras, cada uno de los verbos en pasado, pero ya lo vamos a ver, so take it easy. Let me go with Jose Vega. You are Michael and Carla Patricia. You are Jennifer. Action. Uh, hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? 
Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning. Then my roommate and, and I clean it, did laundry and shop it. And then I visit my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watch the television all weekend. All right, excellent, sir. Thank you. Very good job. Also, Patricia, thank you. Okay, let me see. It was Patricia. Okay, let me go now with um, Mayra Lopez. You are Michael and Alba Aguilar. You are Jennifer. Action. Hi, Jennifer. Did, did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? We? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I clean it, and I clean it, did laundry and shop it. And then I visited my parents. So what did you did you, did you do on Sunday? I studied for this test all day. Oh no. Do we have a text today? I didn't I didn't know a student. I heard watch watch uh, television all weekend. Excellent. There you go. Thank you so much, Mayra and Alba. Bravo. All right. Let's pay attention to the following, okay? Hasta aquí llegamos con la conversation. Creo que eh, no me falta nadie más. Oh, let me see. Si me falta Fatimita. Let's see, Fatima. Hi. Are you there? Yes, I'm there. <laughs> Excellent, Fatima. ¿Quiere ser Michael o quiere ser Jennifer? Usted decide. Michael está bien. Ok, excellent. Uh, I'm going to work with you. Action. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry and shopped, and then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Saturday? I studied for the test all day. Oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't study, I just watched television all weekend. Excellent, very good, Farima. Hasta la sentí afligida. Así me sentí. Very good. Me dio compasión, Michael. Dígame. Excellent. Thank you so much, everybody. I really appreciate your effort and your practice. All right, it worth a lot. Para mí vale mucho que ustedes practiquen y se esfuercen por estar en clase. Así que vamos a continuar con el contenido. Here we go. Eh, déjenme ver. Les voy a compartir de nuevo la plataforma. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Miren, en el video ustedes van a ver que van a ir presentando unas estructuras. ¿Qué quiere decir? Solo presten atención a la pronunciación, ¿ok? No copien nada porque todo eso lo tengo yo en la PPT. Solo les quiero poner esto para que ustedes vayan ejerciendo o mejorando más su listening, ¿right? Entonces, prestemos atención al, al listening. No copien, tranquilos, right? Yo les voy a dar el tiempo después. Como les digo, tengo ese material en la PPT, okay? Let's just pay attention to the pronunciation and explanation. They didn't exercise on Sunday. Didn't equals did not. Spelling. Watch. Watched. W-A-T-C-H-E-D. Exercise, exercised, 
E X E R C I S E D. Study. Studied. S T U D I E D. Stay. Stayed. S T A Y E D. Shop. Shopped. S H O P P E D. Let's analyze the examples on the chart now. I would like to get started with positive statements. Before I start, though, I would like to point out the verbs towards the right hand side of the chart. When talking about the past, and if we're using regular verbs, we will follow a quite simple rule. We need to change the verbs to the past tense. And we can do this by simply adding ed. For example, the verb watch. Okay, let me interrupt the video over here. When it's talking about regular verbs, he clearly says, right? We are talking about the verbs when they are in past tense, we change and we add ed. A estos regular verbs solamente se les agrega el ed, right? En algunos casos, el ied, el ed, right? En algunos casos. A estos se le llaman regular verbs. Tenemos otros que son irregular verbs, que esos se cambian completamente en el tiempo pasado, right? Pero ahorita estamos con esto, así que enfoquémonos en estos, ¿ok? We will change to the past by simply adding ed. On a different class, we'll learn how to pronounce these verbs and also the spelling rules. Let's go back to making positive statements in the past tense. In order to make positive statements in the past tense, we will follow this formula. Subject plus verb in the past tense plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples now. I studied on Sunday. First, we will add the subject, I. Next, we will include the verb in the past tense. Finally, we'll put a complement on Sunday. Let's analyze one more example now. You watch television. First, we will add the subject, you. Then we need to include the verb in the past tense. Finally, we will add the complement, television. Let's learn how to make negative statements in the past. In order to make negative statements in the past, we can follow this formula. Subject plus didn't plus verb in the present plus complement. Notice that in this case, we include an auxiliary verb, didn't. And because we have this auxiliary verb, we will no longer change the verb to the past tense. Let's analyze a couple of examples. I didn't study on Saturday. First, we will add the subject I. Next, we will include the auxiliary verb to make negative statements didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present tense, study. Finally, we will add the complement on Sunday. Let's analyze one last example. You didn't watch a movie. First, we will add the subject you. Next, we will include the auxiliary verb to make negative statements, didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present tense, watch. Finally, we will add the complement, a movie. Now it's your turn to practice making positive and negative statements in the past tense. I would like for you to use all the verbs on the right-hand side of the chart and provide similar examples about yourself, family, friends, and coworkers. For example, I watch television on Monday. I didn't exercise. 
All right, we're going to stop the video over here. Let's go back to the PPT and I'm going to explain you this. Mainly the video was for you to check the pronunciation of the birds, right? So let's move on to the following. We have the same information over here, right? So don't worry. Eh, como yo les dije, no se preocupen porque aquí van a copiar las estructuras. So we have, I studied, listen, I studied on Sunday. You watched television. She stayed home. We shopped for groceries. They exercised, exercised on Saturday, right? I didn't study on Saturday. You didn't watch a movie. She didn't stay out. We didn't shop for clothes. They didn't exercise on Sunday. Vámonos al spelling. Watch. En presente. Present. Watched. Watched. In past. Exercise. Exercised. Exercised. A study. A study. I studied. I studied. A stay. Stayed, shop, shopped, right? ¿Cómo vamos a aprendernos estos verbs, Miss? Porque, pues está fácil usarlos, pero la pronunciation. Esto entre más repitan ustedes los audios, lo van a lograr, right? Esto toma un poquito de tiempo. Tal vez la, ya utilizarlo en la gramática no nos va a tomar mucho tiempo, but the pronunciation is gonna take kind of a time, right? So we need to be patient and also constant, right? Now, let's go with this one. I'm going to need your participation, guys. Let me go with Lisette Montoya. Hi, Lisette. Hi, teacher. Can you tell me, please, the affirmative in simple oh. past? I don't need to have the I studied on Sunday. Mm -hmm. You watched television, mm -hmm. she stayed home, we shopped for groceries, they exercised on Saturday. That's great, excellent, thank you. Let's see, Geraldina, tell me the negative. Usted me va a dar el negative. Recuerda que aquí solo va a decir didn't y su verbo en, en present, all right? I didn't study on Saturday. You didn't watch a movie. Uh, she didn't stay out. We did a chat for clutch. Clutch it. Uh, they did exercise on Sunday. Excellent. Thank you, Hilde. All right. Let's check this information over here, my dear. Uh -huh. check. Mm -hmm. Pronuncia bien eh, closet o clothes. Clothes. Closed. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. Clothes, right? Nos referimos a vestimenta. Closet uh -huh. ya es el armario, right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Excellent. Close. Thank you. Very good. Now, let's go to the... Let's practice again. Let me have Veronica Esmeralda. You are simple past in affirmative. And Gabriela Choto, you are simple simple, no, you are the negative, all right? Vamos a ir uno y uno para ver cómo se va escuchando esto together, ¿ok? Usted comienza con uno, Verónica, y Gabriela le sigue con el negative. Ok. I studied on Sunday. I did study on Saturday. You watched television. You did watch a movie. She stayed home. She didn't stay out. We shopped for groceries. We didn't shop for clothing. They exercised on Saturday. They didn't exercise on Sunday. All right, excellent. Thank you, girls. 
Thank you, Verónica and Gabriela. Now, let's check this one. Aquí, esta es la parte más fácil del simple present, all right, del simple past, I'm sorry, del pasado simple. ¿Por qué? Porque solo van a agregar su auxiliary, all right? Solo van a agregar el auxiliary. Y su verbo que va a seguir el auxiliary no va a cambiar, all right? Entonces, es más fácil. Ya es estandarizado, didn't, didn't, didn't. El otro verbo que le siguen, simple present. Simple, right? Pero ¿qué sucede? Aquí podemos cometer un mistake. ¿Ok? Porque no es did, es didn't. Didn't. Listen? Didn't. Right? I know it's hard, right? Sé que puede ser difícil como cuando pronunciamos palabras con la S, right? O a los que nos cuesta la R, también tenemos que ir más despacio. Pero se logra. ¿Ok? Didn't. Didn't. So there you go. Let me try with another pair. Let me have Dinora Hernandez. You are simple past. And Jose Vega, you are negative, please. Los dos son simple past, solo que uno es afirmative y el otro es negative. Action. I study on Sunday. I didn't study on Saturday. You watch television. You didn't watch a movie. She stayed home. She didn't stay out. We shopped for groceries. We didn't shop for clothes. They exercise on Saturday. They didn't exercise on Sunday. That's correct, excellent, thank you guys, all right. Let's see, let's take advantage of this part because today is your last day of classes, right, of the week. Hoy es el último día de la semana para ustedes en cuanto a las clases. Todavía no terminamos curso, pero ya mañana descansan. Así que hay que ponerle mucho feeling a esto, ¿ok? Reactivémonos. <laughs> Yo sé que están cansaditos, pero let's try to focus in here. Porque este tema es bien importante por lo, que lo, por lo que les digo, right? De la pronunciation. Let's go with Miguel Navarro. Miguel, you are simple past affirmative. And Patricia, you are negative. Action. I study on Sunday. Let me check if we have Patricia. Carla Patricia? Yes, I didn't study on Saturday. You watch it, television. You, you, did, you didn't watch, watch a movie. She stayed home. She didn't stay out. We shopped for groceries. We didn't shop for clothes. They exercise on Saturday. They didn't exercise on Sunday. That's correct, excellent, thank you guys. Now, to finish with this part, let me have, okay, let me see, na, na, na. Farima Guardado, Farima, can you please tell me the spelling? Me dice el simple present y el simple past, over here please. Si usted necesita ayuda, Fatima, me avisa, okay? Okay, watch, watch, exercise, Exercise. No, it's as the exercise. Exercised. Exercise. A study. A study. A stay. A study. A stayed. A no. stayed. A stayed. Mm -hmm. Shop. Shop. That's correct. Excellent. Okay, and this one, esta suena como con T al final. Watched. Right? Casi como los británicos, que ellos casi todo lo pronuncian con T al final. All right? Watched. So there you go. Thank you so much, Fatima. Let's see. Um, Jose Carpio, please. Your turn. Usted me va a dar el spelling. Simple present is simple past. Si necesita ayuda, me dice. Okay? Okay. Uh, uh, watch. Watch. Exercise, exercise, study, study, 
stay, stay up, shop, shopping. All right, very good. Thank you, sir. And the last person that I'm going to have in here is going to be Felipe Rios. Okay, Felipe. Tell me the simple present and simple past. Uh, watch, watch it, exercise, exercise it, study, study it, stay, state, state, esa no me acuerdo. State, state it, uh, chop, uh, chop it. Chopped. Chopped. Mm -hmm. Exactly. There you go. Thank you. Ya se van a dar cuenta ustedes en el próximo video. Esperemos que tal vez nos quede tiempito para verlo porque no podemos ir muy apresurados en este tema, right? Se van a dar cuenta los diferentes tipos de pronunciation. Porque aquí lo tengo. Miren, los diferentes tipos de pronunciation que tenemos. Tenemos con ID, T, and D, right? Eso va a depender del verb y de cómo termina el verb. Pero ahorita... Let's take it easy, right? Let's move on to the guiding structure. Aquí está la estructura guía que el teacher mostró en el video. This is for simple past affirmative, all right? Simple past affirmative. Copy this on your notebooks, please. And let me see, Miguel Navarro, can you please tell me the structure? Me dice la estructura, please. Budget plus verb in past tense plus complement. That's correct, excellent, sir. All right, copy this uh, guiding structure, guys, please, on your notebooks. Recuerden, esta estructura es para el simple, simple past affirmative, all right? Aquí solo estamos con el afirmativo. Let me know when you're finished copying the structure so I can move on. Me avisan finalizar. Yes, teacher, finish. Very good, thank you, Lisette. All right, everybody, let's move on. Vamos a los guiding examples, porque yo no voy a dejar que se vayan así solitos a pie, okay? Les voy a dar mis guiding examples. We have three. Primero los voy a leer yo, después les voy a pedir a ustedes. Listen carefully to the pronunciation of the verbs, all right? Pongamos el oído a estos verbos. My sister talked, talked to my mother yesterday. I walked, I walked on the park this morning. I ate, I ate vegetables for lunch, right? Quise cambiarles aquí los verbs. Si ustedes se fijan en el video, los examples que nos da el teacher son los mismos que tenemos aquí, all right? Pero para que ustedes se vayan enriqueciendo con más verbs, decidí ponerles estos otros tres. Ok, now let me go with, let's see, Gabriela Choto, can you please read number one? Only number one. My sister talked to my brother yesterday. Okay, repeat after me. Talked. Talk. Talked. Talked. Okay, aquí estoy notando yo el mistake. Cuando tenemos la L, eh, antes de la K no la pronunciamos, right? Suena así, mire. Talked. Talk. Exactly, there you go, excellent. <laughs> okay. Es que verdad que lo que, lo que nos hace el, el desquite aquí es la L, right? Sí, la queremos mencionar. Exactly. No la necesitamos. Al menos eso es bueno. We don't need it. All right? Lo mismo para walked. No decimos walk, decimos walked. All right? Thank you, Gabrielita. Let's go with Thanks. Dinora Hernández. Tell me number two, please. I walk on the Park this morning. That's correct. Excellent. And Elizabeth Campos, number three. Este se pronuncia eight. I ate vegetables for lunch. That's correct. Thank you so much. Now, everybody, if you 
take these examples. The following is going to be easier for you. All right, hasta ahorita vamos comprendiendo en sí de qué trata el simple press, el simple past, estimados participantes. Yes, yes, teacher. Very good, very good. Yes, teacher. Al, al momento que tengan una duda, hagan, all right? No se queden con eso. Let's see. Let's go to the practice time. Yay! <laughs> vamos a ver cómo vamos con esto. Let me have uh, Sonia del Tránsito. Can you please read the instructions? Work individual. Read a left to senses using the simple past in affirmative. Share your sen sentences with the class. Excellent, thank you, girl. All right, ¿qué van a hacer? Solo créanme una, right? Por el tiempo, solo créanme una oración utilizando el affirmative simple past. Ustedes escogen qué verbo. Si quieren de estos verbs, me dicen para dejárselos aquí. Y si quieren mis examples, también puedo tomarlos de aquí y pegárselos. Okay? Lo que van a hacer, aunque tengan los mismos verbos, uy, no va aquí. Aunque tengan los mismos verbos, no significa que vamos a utilizar los mismos subjects, ¿verdad? Ahí es donde nosotros podemos cambiarlo y también hablar de otra cosa. ¿Ok? Please, one. Teacher, eh, estará bien she visited her parents. Yes, she visited her parents. ¿Cómo, cómo es la, cómo es la pronunciación? Visited. Visited. Mm -hmm. visited. Excellent. Yes, pero esa sí está bien correcta, right? It's true. Somebody else? Me van avisando cuando vayan finalizando para chequear las sentences, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Somebody else who has finished? Alguien que tenga una oración? Ajá, uh Karima, -huh. excellent. I studied yesterday with my friend. There you go. Excellent. Simple as that. Very good. Lisette. Here, este, será, they went out to eat. That's correct. Very good. They went out to eat. So, lo que ya ahí no es un regular, ya es, es un irregular, porque cambia completamente su escritura, right? Pero está bien, right? Excellent. Let's go with Albita. Let's see, Albita. Yesterday, I learned to make bread. I learned. Uh-huh. That's correct. Learn. Very good. Thank you, Alvita. And somebody else? Aha, uh -huh, Jose? Eh, es un poco larga, Ticha. <laughs> A ver si está bien. Eh, I cooked I cooked my breakfast this morning together with my wife. Um, I am on vacation. There you go. Excellent. I cooked my breakfast, digo, verdad? Yes. With my wife. No, I cooked 
my breakfast this morning with my wife. This Así morning, together, together with my wife. All right. Excellent. I am on vacation. On vacation. On vacation. Excellent. Very good. Yeah, it's correct, Jose. Very good. All right, everybody. Let's move on. Si ahí está el otro voluntario, me avisa. <laughs> Pero quiero mostrarles esta otra structure. Pues no me quiero quedar con poquito contenido porque ustedes tienen que trabajar durante el fin de semana en la plataforma. Así que vamos a la guiding structure for negative. We have subject. Ustedes ya conocen perfectamente los subjects. I, you, she, we, they, la, 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 la. Plus didn't. De nuevo, aquí viene la parte fácil. El didn't hace todo eh, por mí. All right? Hace todo por el otro verb. Plus verb in present. Plus complement. Para eso nos ayudan los auxiliares. Para que el verbo que le sigue no tengamos que cambiarlo. Ni estarnos preocupando si va a ir con yes, con it, all right? ¿Por qué? Porque ya lleva toda la carga del didn't. Okay? Copy this on your notebooks, please. Finish. Excellent. Do you have a question so far? Hasta ahorita, ¿tienen alguna consulta o duda? No. No. Right. Very good. Very good. Exactly. Okay. So let's think about this guiding examples. Voy a mover menos guiding examples. Si necesitan la estructura, me avisan de nuevo. Okay. Guiding examples. My sister didn't talk to my mother yesterday. I didn't walk in the park this morning. I didn't eat vegetables for lunch. All right, let me check. Okay, let me see, let me have Felipe. Felipe, can you please read sentence number one? My sister didn't talk to my mother yesterday. Thank you. Mayra Lopez, number two. I didn't walk in the park this morning. Excellent, thank you. And Jose Carpio, number three. Hello? I, I didn't it's better for lunch. Exactly, that's correct. What are you gonna do, guys? You are going to practice. Create at least two sentences using the simple past tense in negative. Share your examples with the class, all right? Solo una creemos. Por el tiempo, solo una creemos, okay? Recuerden, ya el didn't está haciendo toda mi acción, por ende, el verbo que le quiero poner después ya no va a afectar ni va a cambiar. Es más fácil. Let me know when you're finished. Teacher, ¿puedo leer yo? Yes, honey, of course. Este, I didn't learn too fast. I didn't learn too fast, right? That's correct. Let's see, Jose Vega, because he puso finish. Dígame su sentence. Yes. Uh, I didn't play soccer with my friends because uh, I went to church. There you go. Excellent. Veronica Esmeralda. I didn't wash the dishes in the morning. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Thank you, Veronica. And let's see, somebody else. I didn't, I didn't study English last night. That's correct. It's true. I didn't see you. Let's see. Somebody else? Me. I didn't carry the umbrella today. Very good. Excellent. You got wet. No, no. I, I have it. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. 
All right, somebody else? Okay, now listen, this is what we're gonna do. We're going to finish the class in here, take your time, analyze the videos from the platform. On Monday, we are going to work hard, all right? Así que no se vayan a perder la clase de lunes, porque vamos a trabajar hard, right? Vamos a darle mucho énfasis a esto por la pronunciation, por la escritura, all right? Así que I will see you on Monday. Descansen este fin de semana, pero también trabajen en la plataforma. Recuerden que ustedes pueden avanzar, aunque nosotros no hayamos avanzado tantísimo aquí, ustedes ya pueden avanzar con los videos porque tienen el mismo content. So I will see you on Monday. Take care. Have a great night and see you. Bye. Good night. Bye, teacher. Thank you. Bye. 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 Good weekend. Thank you.